Hey everybody, I hope you guys are all doing safe. So I am in Huawei's Hong Kong office right now checking out the Huawei Vision S. This is Huawei's new smart TV. Now if you follow my channel, you may remember that about a year and a half ago, two years ago, I went to Huawei's developer conference where I checked out a smart TV called Honor Vision. That was the very first device to run Huawei's Harmony OS. Well, this TV is basically a sequel to the Honor Vision, but since Honor is no longer part of Huawei, it has now been rebranded to Huawei Vision S. So this is a 65 inch, really thin bezels smart TV. It also comes in a 55 inch size. And here's what sets this TV apart from other smart TVs on the market. So first of all, there's a 120 Hertz display. Now 120 Hertz for TV screens actually kind of important because most content we consume right now shoot in either 30 frames per second or 24 frames per second. Like for example, all TV shows virtually shoot in 30 frames per second whereas Hollywood movies shoot in 24 frames per second. But when you're watching these type of content on a new TV nowadays, which runs a 60 hertz screen, what they do is use something called motion smoothing interpolation to change 30 FPS, 24 FPS up to 60. But the problem is that 60 is not a multiple of 24. So when you're upscaling 24 FPS videos to 60 hertz screen, it looks weird. That's why motion smoothing looks a little bit weird. So 120 hertz, is indeed a multiple of 30 and 24. So that means when you upscale from 24 frames per second to 120 hertz, it should look more natural, not as you know weird as if you're watching on a 60 hertz TV. So that's one of the special features. The second special feature is there's a 13 megapixel camera here that shoots 1080p footage. So this camera comes packaged with the TV and it's actually removable. You can just magnetically stick it to the TV. So this 13 megapixel camera allows you to do video calls. Um, Huawei calls them me time. So basically if you have a Huawei smartphone, you can take a video call, you know, on your phone and then you can transfer that video to the TV. Then you can continue the video call using this camera. Now the third special features of having this TV is that if you use Huawei smartphones, you can actually connect via Huawei share. You just have to tap any Huawei smartphone, any modern Huawei smartphone against this little NFC pad right here of the remote. Just need to tap it on, and then you'll see it automatically ask you to connect. And then just like that, I have connected my Huawei Mate X2 to the smart TV, and let's see it will adjust the folding. Yes, it does. So now obviously I'm mirroring my Huawei Mate X2 to TV screen, so it means now I would need to check out an email, I can read an email on a larger screen. Or if I want, I can open up Instagram and check out Instagram stories on a large screen. And then of course, for those of you who use Huawei smartphones, you will know that there's this thing called Huawei desktop. So you just need to tap on desktop mode and that will basically turn this TV into a Huawei desktop. And then the phone screen becomes a trackpad. So I just bring it over here. Now I have my Huawei Mate XS completely on a Huawei TV and there's a full-blown desktop UI. Okay, so the Huawei Vision S has four speakers, two 10-watt speakers and two 10-watt treaters. So sound is quite full, as you can see. Let's pick a different video that shows off the colors a little bit better. Yeah, so 65-inch screen. Okay, so this is it for this uh, demo of the Huawei Vision S. This TV, is, I believe, is going on sale in Malaysia pretty soon, and then it will go on sale in other parts of the world yet, but it hasn't been um, decided. I believe in China, it's priced at around a little bit under 5,000 RMB, but it, the price will differ from region to region. So when the prices come out, I'll update you guys in the description and or in the comments below. So anyway, this is the Huawei Vision S. If you are interested in more content, keeping up to date with all the latest gadgets, please consider subscribing to my channel or follow me on Instagram at Ben's Gadget Reviews. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.